Dr. Jeff Harp from Highland Family Medicine is with us again. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. We are talking about COVID and cardiovascular disease and the long-term consequences of a COVID infection. Really important topic here, doctor. Right, it seems that there are permanent changes in many people's health after COVID, many of which are being actively studied. Uh, there was recently a study published focused on cardiovascular disease, which includes heart failure, heart attack, and stroke. Uh, the study looked at the frequency of development of cardiovascular disease over a two-year period in five and a half million, that's a lot of veterans, who are alive at least a month after COVID and compared that frequency with the frequency of onset of cardiovascular disease in a similar group two years before the pandemic. Uh, the people they looked at were 10% uh, women, um, so 90% men, 20% black, um, and on average about 60 years old. All right, so a big sample set here. What did the study conclude? What did it find? Well, they found that people who had COVID were about twice as likely to develop cardiovascular disease over the, uh, after having COVID than people who didn't have COVID. Um, the more severe the COVID disease was, the more high their risk was uh, for getting um, cardiovascular disease. So for example, if you compare two groups, uh, people who had COVID, there'd be five extra cases of heart failure out of a thousand people. Uh, if those people were not in need of hospital care. People who are hospitalized, there'd be 45 additional cases, and people who were in the ICU, there'd be 78 additional cases out of 1,000 people. So a really high increased incidence for people who are very sick with COVID. Doctor, in a practical sense, what does this data mean? Well, everyone benefits from lowering their risk factors for cardiovascular disease through smoking cessation, diet, exercise, and medication if necessary to control blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar. But people who are at increased risk probably benefit more from that. And that includes people who have had COVID. Um, most of us during the pandemic have not been seeing our primary care physicians as much as we should. And so it probably a good idea to get back in the habit of seeing our primary care clinician and working on modifying our risk factors. Great piece of advice there, of course. What else can people do, doctor? Well, uh, people who've had COVID especially should take cardiovascular symptoms seriously. So for heart disease, that includes uh, shortness of breath that's unusual, unexplained fainting, chest pain with exercise for stroke, uh, weakness in, a, in, an, in an arm or a leg, trouble speaking, facial drooping, all those kind of symptoms should make us get care, call our primary care clinician, go to a urgent care or a hospital, depending on the severity of the symptoms, uh, because people who've had COVID are at increased risk for these kind of problems. We'll leave it there. Doctor, as always, uh, thank you. If you missed any of our conversation, we'll have it online as well at rochesterfirst.com.